Q&A number three is about the organic acid test. Sometimes people want to know, uh, is there mold in me? And that's a normal thing to wonder when we're talking about mold toxicity and mold exposure. And if you're living in a water damaged house, um, we talked about the mycotoxin lab looking in the urine for mycotoxin themselves. But because we can get colonized, which means mold growing inside of us, that we become the mold factory. We're not just living in a mold factory or have a mold factory in that wall or under this floor behind that cabinet. When we breathe those spores in enough, they can colonize in our sinuses and we swallow goes down to our gut and we become the mold factory. So people um, rightfully so want to know if mold's growing in them. And uh, the good news is, is that it's a simple test. The bad news is if you've been in that space for some time, you very likely have a level of mold colonization. But the good news again is, is that we have good tools for treating that. Like God gave us amazing herbs and companies have put together amazing herbal complexes that work well on uh, be, uh, pushing that downward. Or you can use singular herbs as well. So the organic acid test, often called an oat. So if you hear someone talking about an oat, oh my goodness, I forgot to set my timer again. Let me adjust it. I got, I got two minutes left. Let's go with that. Um, the oat is another urine test, another fasting urine test. Okay, so that's an easy test. Again, you want to quit uh, eating, drinking, supper time, wait at least 12 hours to collect that urine in the morning. What it's looking for is fungal metabolites. So it's not looking for uh, mold spores or anything like that. It's looking for the metabolites that come from a colonized fungus in the body. And that will tell us if you have some colonized species of Fusarium and Aspergillus, which are very common molds uh, in a water damaged house or building. Okay. And if we see that, we know that we need to actually work on the fungus itself. So I don't want to get in talking too much in this video because this, this, this is going to be a bigger uh, or a different video about, you know, mold uh, colonization treatment. But as for the test, it's simple. An organic acid test. It's a urine test. I wish it checked for more metabolites from other molds. We don't know how many different species of mold can actually colonize in us. You know, we don't know how many different types can be in our sinuses, how many are in our gut. But, and here's one of the things people do, they, they think about the gut and they don't think about the sinuses. So that's kind of a spoiler here too, is, uh, but I have, I have a little bit of time left, is that if you do find you have fungal colonization, it's not just about working the gut. You have to make sure you work the sinuses as well. Why? Because you're breathing it in, it hits your sinuses first. So say you clean the fungus out of the gut, but you still have it here. Well, every time you swallow, you know, you can, you can pr bring it down the throat, back to the gut, and guess what? You just reseeded it, okay? So everything can go okay, and you start fixing your gut, and all of a sudden the problems and symptoms ramp up again. So uh, that's why dealing with mold toxicity should be done with someone uh, like myself that has experience, that knows. Otherwise, you spend a lot of time and money on good supplements, but not doing things in the right order or targeting the right things, you could end up in trouble. There's my alarm, but because I set it off late, I don't know how close I am to my three minutes. But anyway, checking for fungal colonization with the organic acid test, also known as the oat test, is simple test to do, very easy prep, and you can get that done. Uh, results are in about two and a half weeks, and you can know if uh, fungus is colonized in your gut. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing.